is Gabriella Mikia, and I'm a teaching artist for Enchanted Circle. Today, I'm going to read you a story called Under One Rock, Bugs, Slugs, and Other Uggs, written by Anthony de Fredericks and illustrated by Jennifer DeRubio. During the story, if you want to clap and sing along, I'll show you when to join in. So are you ready? Here we go. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. Let's try it one more time. You ready? Okay. Below the big rock, all rough and gray, that hides a whole crowd on a summer's day. I hope you can join us, and I hope you like the story. Here's the title page, Under One Rock. Bugs, Slugs, and Other Uggs by Anthony D. Fredericks, illustrated by Jennifer DeRubio by Dawn Publications. Dedication page for my wife Phyllis and my children, Rebecca and Jonathan. They are the sunshine of my life, ADF. That probably is the author. To my son, Zachary, for playing so nicely while I worked. Thank you to my husband, Rob, my family, and my friends, for all your help, I couldn't have done it without you. J.D.R. And I bet you that's the illustrator. Dear neighbors, there are many places to live. You may live in a large city, or you may live in a small town. You may live on a busy street or a quiet road. Wherever you live, you are part of a community. Many animals live in communities, too. Like your community, our communities have different neighbors. Some communities have big animals and small animals. Other communities have green creatures living with blue creatures. There are even communities of animals with big mouths. Our neighbors, the frogs. We animals have learned something important. We may be different, but we all live in the same space. This space is called a habitat. A habitat is the area where certain animals or plants normally live. It means we have links that may help us survive. It also means that what affects one of us may affect all of us. I hope you enjoy visiting our special community. It's a place with many neighbors. To learn about one of us is to know about all of us. That's because we all live together. Your eight-eyed friend, Spider. Here's a field for insects to play in and acres of shade for turtles to lay in with wind-brushed trees for birds to nest in and sun splash spaces for lizards to rest in. This is where, on this summer day, there lay a rock all rough and gray. This is the rock. The rough gray rock was discovered by chance by a brown-skinned boy in ragged pants, a curious lad who wondered aloud, what could be hiding in the red rich ground? He lifted the rock, all rough and gray, that he saw in the field on that summer's day. And there he found some varied creatures, a village of animals with special features. These are the earthworms, all squiggly and round, who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. This is the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. This is the spider with her eight-eyed face who builds a home in this cool, dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to the earthworms all squiggly and round, who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. This is the beetle, all shiny and black, with grooves running down both sides of his back. A friend of the spider with her eight-eyed face, they live side by side in this cool, dark place, a home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants, neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. Below 
Some tiny field crickets who sing with their feet search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of his back. A friend of the spider with an eight-eyed face, they live side by side in this cool, dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil on the red, rich ground. A sole millipede with a sensitive feel slips through the dirt in search of a meal. He plows by the crickets who sing with their feet and search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with the beetle all shiny and black with grooves running down both sides of his back. He's a friend of the spider with her eight-eyed face. They live side by side in this cool, dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. These six tiny slugs all covered with slime creep over soil eating most of the time. Past one millipede with a sensitive feel who slips through the dirt in search of a meal and plows past the crickets who sing with their feet that search near the rock for some seeds they can eat. They live with the beetle all shiny and black, with grooves running down both sides of his back. He's a friend of the spider with her eight-eyed face. They live side by side in this cool, dark place. A home near the army of hundreds of ants who dig twisting tunnels and farm tiny plants. Neighbors to earthworms all squiggly and round who aerate the soil in the red, rich ground. The creatures and critters live together as one, beneath a gray rock away from the sun, a collection of neighbors, the large and the small, and the place where they live is home to them all. Here we have some field notes. Spiders, slugs, ants, and the other creatures in this book can be found throughout the world. The specific species described and illustrated in this book are all native to North America. Their habitat, like other animal habitats, offers a fascinating look into how various ecosystems, food chains, or food webs work. And I'll just read you some earthworm fantastic fact. The largest species of earthworms live in Australia. They often grow lengths of nine feet or more. And a fantastic fact about ants. Ants can lift 50 times their own body weight with their mouths. Fantastic fact about spiders. The largest spider in the world is the bird-eating spider of South America. It grows to the size of a dinner plate. A fantastic fact about beetles. When threatened, the bombardier beetle shoots a spray from its rear end at up to 500 times a second. Whoa! Fantastic fact about field crickets. During courtship, male field crickets dance around and sing to excite the females. Fantastic fact about a millipede. One species of millipede grows up to 11 inches long. Oh, that's almost one foot. When it is disturbed, it coils up into a ball the size of a golf ball. And fantastic fact about slugs. Some species of slugs have more than 20,000 teeth. Hope you enjoyed reading and singing with me. You might look at a rock a different way now that you know what amazing creatures live around us. You may even want to uncover your own rock and see who is living beneath. If you do, take some pictures, draw some of the creatures, or even make some puppets and reread the story with me. See you next time.